Hello everyone, Chuck Northside Guy. Today's topic is going to be something that uh, has been on my mind for a while, and occasionally I'll hear on one of our community's videos uh, a side comment uh, or a passing reference to horizontal graded cards. And I wanted to just uh, post this video today and share with you horizontal graded cards uh, from my collection and they're how um, cards have pre been presented horizontally through the, the eons, the decades. So let's jump right in. I have about 30 cards I want to share with you, going from vintage to modern. Um, of course, with my I, I have to start with the 1933 Gaudi. And there are five cards that are horizontal in the 240-card Gaudi set. I also collect the T206, and there's um, there are six horizontal cards in the T206, and there's kind of a, a a group of people who really, really focus on the horizontal cards uh, in the T206, and those prices are a lot higher than the, the more typical vertical displayed cards. So what I think people express from time to time, and I, I, I feel the same way on occasion, is you know, in a slab, this is the way it comes. And yet in your display, you want to look at it like this. So for some folks that can be uh, challenging or frustrating as they um, try to put it on their, uh, in their display case. All right, I'm going to move into uh, post-war. <clears throat> Obviously, this is one of the more famous horizontal cards and many people's favorite from the 1953 Bowman Color and deservedly so, it's a classic. I just throw this one in there. It's a Pee Wee Reese from 2019 Stadium Club. Obviously not a classic, but a, a fun image nonetheless. Less. Of course, in the 50s, we get many sets like the 55 Tops. And of course, the 56 famously presents horizontally. And of course, these cards you know, we consider many of these to be classics in the hobby and desired. Here's another one, Sandy. So moving ahead, um, I'm going to share some Jeters now. Um, of course, that looks exciting. You know, some of these are more action and atypical, you know, tipping a cap last game. But here's something I want to point out. Every now and then, PSA, most of the cards will be lined up with the, when you display it like this, the tag, the PSA tag, will be on the right. However, here's a Jeter where the tag is on the left. I think that might be frustrating because it's not consistent. Great image, though. But I wonder why PSA would sometimes do this, or more typically do this, and then sometimes go the other direction. I don't know if others have seen that as well. Then there are other images. These are not graded, but I wanted to just share this. This is a, something I've just come across recently in my uh, shoeboxes. I've begun looking at those. Um, this is from 1983. It's a Dunruss Dun um, All-Stars, and it was a 60-card uh, special set. Um, I love these cards, actually, and the um, shout-out goes... Uh, to vintage, vintage Composer, who had a video recently of these kind of cards um, from 83 and 84 Dunruss. Uh, he had them autographed and in beautiful plastic sheets, and uh, he graciously sent me a, a care package with some of uh, those sheets so I could put these in there. Thank you so much, Mike. Of course, here's one from uh, Basketball. That's a fun image of LeBron taking off to do some spectacular dunk. I'm going to run through some of my favorites. I don't tip uh, favorite moderns. I don't typically share these on this channel. I collect these with my sons. My personal interest is more in the vintage, but I love collecting in general. And I'm going to share some Mike Trouts here, all vertical. There's something about vertical, of course, where you can get a more exciting action image. A couple here that I'm going to share with you of Trout sliding. And this is just, I shared this on a recent video. It's a short print, fun angle. It's almost like a stadium club. Love this card. 
And of course, here's an interesting couple from uh, my favorites from Juan Soto that are horizontal, his second year. And a rookie debut. And one of the funnest, uh, favorite cards in, in my collection is this one. It's an autographed Juan Soto. Look at that. Just in his taunting pose after a ball. Love that card. Love it. A few more. Devers. Interesting. Uh, of course, who doesn't have this one? And, of course, sometimes you get a lot of special cards through the years. A special meaning not the main cards, but, uh, you know, here's a real shiny one of <laughs> Wander Franco. I'm going to share a few images that I just love. They're Stadium Club, and I know that gets, uh, Stadium Club gets a bit of a rub in the hobby, but look at that. Isn't that just a fun angle for Aaron Judge launching one into the, the ether? And then this one, look at that, Ozzie Smith. Right in front of the Hall of Fame there. For all my Yankee fan colleagues out there, um, Mariano Rivera. Look at that. Walking in. And I just love that perspective. Can you imagine walking into a stadium? Critical moment in the game. Clutch. No surprise. 100% Hall of Fame. And then finally, I have a, a more modern one, but it's a Sandy. And I just like this uh, pose of Sandy Koufax. Just seeing the, the wind-up. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this different take, a very kind of unique take on cards. Uh, I'm sure you have specials and favorites uh, that are horizontal, or maybe you just can't stand them at all. Uh, let me know in the comments, uh, but I hope you enjoy the cards I shared today and the perspective. Take good care. Stay warm, everybody. Bye now.